My name's Matt Hale and I'm exhibiting at Tension Fine Art, which is in Penge in South London, England. And I'm originally from North London, uh, where I grew up and went to school. And um, I gradually gravitated into the central London and went to art school later on in life. Um, so I've been making art since well, since I was about 19, I suppose, whether it was art or not is questionable, but it was certainly intended to be art. And I started painting at Chelsea School of Art, and I went to Goldsmiths and did an MA a couple of years later in fine art. So I crossed over in painting and sculpture and different things, but mostly I just painted still. Um, and I enjoyed my time at art school, although Chelsea was very much a painting school, whereas Goldsmiths, MA was much more open and I learnt more about other kinds of and forms of art and about conceptual art which they didn't teach me at Chelsea. So art school was very important um, and I also met people which was equally important at art school. Other students were as important as staff who I kept in touch with and um, worked with later on. Um, intention, I'm exhibiting work which is made from materials found um, in woods and what people call the countryside. Um, my studio is in a rural setting, but it's a, an urban rural setting, so it's a, a wood, but it's in the urban west side of London. It's actually in somebody's garden. I rent a studio in the bottom of their garden. So I use materials I find there, like trees, leaves, funguses, and um, I then treat work on them. So it's a bit like a found, ready-made, natural object, which I then treat. Um, and the title of the show is True Fictive Nature. And True Fictive Nature is a phrase coined by a writer called John Roberts. And it's been very stimulating to think about that phrase. Um, I was making the work and he came and saw it and then used that phrase. And I've sort of thought more about it. So the nature I'm, I'm presenting is sort of a fictive, it, so it could be from the past or the future. It's obviously nature presented in a way that couldn't quite be the case in real life, whatever that is, but if you split a tree in half you don't find the core of the tree is plastic. Whereas in my show there is wood presented in which the core of the tree is resin and it appears that it was like that when I split the tree and so the fiction is in the treatment of the nature. Um, one of my favourite pieces of work is a piece of work which is a sort of dissection of a tree. There's a few dissected logs in the show and in the, in the dissection I've sort of cut through the log and the, the resin is seemingly found in the middle of the tree and half the tree is cut, length, is cut lengthways and in that it's like a gutter full of resin but it does look as if when I cut the tree down and when I cut it in half the resin was inside. So that's work I really like. I presented a lot of the work also in crates, in bo wooden boxes um, because I see it as a, part, as a collection and the collection is a bit like a natural scientist has found these specimens and the crates are mint, uh, a marked specimen and it's as if they were all found in the way I presented them in the, and I hadn't done anything to them and then almost as if they're not art and it's a sort of it's a bit of a game really playing with what is art and where does it end and where does nature start and man begin it's a sort of quite a lot of circle circular diagrams going on um, I don't make a living from my art, I work also for an art magazine, but I work a lot of time on my art, um, and I do sell my art, but I don't make a living from it. So I'm able to make and do very much what I want to do, which I think is very important um, as an artist. But equally, obviously, of course, if people like my work, I'm very happy to sell it. And I'm always looking for different exhibition opportunities. Um, I met Ken who runs Tension Gallery through my work and came down and 
went to a number of openings and that's how the show happened, by me getting to know Ken and the people who come to the gallery and seeing the space. And it's an artist-run space, which I particularly like that form of gallery where the artist is in control of what happens and the person running the gallery understands what it's like to make art, so you get on quite well, rather than perhaps working with an administrator or a manager, which you might work with in a, in a museum. Um, I'd obviously happily show attention again in the future. Um, we had to postpone the show for a year due to coronavirus, which was a shame, but actually gave me a bit more time to think about how to exhibit it. And I uh, made lots of crates, which I hadn't thought of doing to begin with. Um, my plans for the show are, and for the future of my work is to try and move this show to different spaces and, and see it displayed in different ways. Maybe bigger space with the work spread out more or not in the crates at all and perhaps the crates piled up, closed with all the work on the walls. Um, but it's been very enjoyable to try and find out an experiment, which is, again, what artists run spaces do enable you to do. And I've been doing that all my life, and I'm 62. Thank you very much. By the way, the show runs until the 31st of July. This is 2021, of course, and do come down and see it. And I'm quite often here, so we can talk about the work if you like. <laughs>